In Volume 1, you learn the location of major energy centers along the front and back of the torso. Also in Volume 1, you learn the nature and location of the original force, the most primary energy of the body, and how the activation of this energy, called warming the stove, is essential for the circulation of the microcosmic orbit. In Volume 2, you learn techniques for opening the heart and blending the love from the heart with naturally multiplying sexual energies. You learn how to open your body to receive the gentle, cool Mother Earth force. And you learn how to draw in and absorb the golden cosmic particle force that contains the essence of a place. In this new volume, you will gain more insight into the profound effects that are the result of consistent practice of the microcosmic orbit meditation. First, Master Chia discusses some of the health benefits of the meditation. Then he talks about the role of the meditation in spiritual development. Master Chia also talks about the nature of universal heaven force. You will learn practices for clearing the functional channel and connecting the three Tan Tians, clearing the governor channel and connecting to the heavenly Qi, and connecting the crown and mid-eyebrow centers joining the two channels. In Stage 5, you concentrate on deepening the flow of qi in the functional channel. The functional channel is the channel for the flow of water, or yin energy, which softens and dissolves blockages in your basic orbit. In Stage 6, you strengthen the opening of the governor channel, bringing the energy up to the crown center and connecting with the universal force. The powerful light burns out impurities in your basic energies. The seventh stage connects the governor and the functional channels and brings the energy back down the front to the navel, balancing water and fire, yin and yang. Master Chia will lead you through a short meditation at the end of the instruction for each stage. When you do these meditations at home, it is important to activate the original force first, as practiced in stage one, warming the stove. It is also important to collect the energy at the navel at the end of each meditation. Volume 4 of this series has been designed to guide you through the complete seven-stage advanced microcosmic orbit meditation in an easy half-hour sitting. It is suggested to use the fourth volume for progressive home practice, incorporating new stages, one at a time, into your personal practice of the microcosmic orbit. Okay, all the animal, every living thing have electricity flow inside. Now the Western doctor discovered that now that if you have more electricity in your body, you're healthier. When you have less electricity inside your body, you're getting weaker or sick. And all the germ and disease are very easy to come into you. That's how. Now in the, in the four or five thousand years ago, they have no electricity concept. But when they meditate, they feel something moving inside the body. So the Tao give a name called Qi. Qi, like the steam. That's it. Okay? Now, we know now that two circuits is the yin and yang circuit, like the electricity. Yin and yang flow. And uh, when you can get this yin and yang flow up and flow down, you start to get a balance inside you. You started to get a balance. So the yang flow up and the yin flow down. So this way you're increasing the electricity. With this alone, a lot of sickness can be healed. Okay? Uh, when I started to, I work about five years very closely with the doctor, which they send me the patients. Oftentimes they come with a one or two or three pages of all the complaint. <laughs> I don't feel here, I don't feel well, pain here, headache over here, back pain, and all the high blood pressure and all these things. I say, okay, that's good, keep it. <laughs> keep it, okay? And, uh, and uh, at least I know that what's your problem. So, the first thing I teach them, all the same. They say, hey, what happened to my problem? So do this first, all the same. The microcosmic, the inner smile, the sick hearing sound. So when they get the microcosmic flow, Especially the, the Tantian energy. When they get a Tantian energy form, 
very strong, okay? And uh, so much energy, and the energy will go to wherever the sickness is. Uh, it just go to wherever the sickness that they have problem by itself, okay? And the healing takes place that way. So a lot of people come to me, I have this problem, okay, do microcosmic. And that guy ask me the same, uh, this problem, high blood pressure, microcosmic. You know, <laughs> low blood pressure, high microcosmic. says, how come? High blood pressure, microcosmic. Low blood pressure, microcosmic, you know. <laughs> Back pain, microcosmic will help. Okay? So, because the whole thing is that you are not treating in the uh, individual. You're treating as a whole. Okay? When you raise the energy flow inside you, you have more electricity. So, the whole overall of your system, you're getting better. And that's what the microcosmic will do. What the microcosmic will do. Physically, we need energy. And mentally, we need energy. Spiritually, we need energy. We need food. So we say, physically need food, mentally we need food, spiritually we need food. Okay? But a lot of people, all they do is <coughs> this only food. That's all. <laughs> but what about the rest? The air we breathe, the water we drink. Now more and more people talk more aware of the air they breathe and the water they drink. Okay? But not many people know about the heaven the earth force, and the sexual energy. When you conserve enough energy, the important part, Taoism said, if you, in this life, if in this life, you have no chance to awakening your soul and spirit, but you conserve a lot of energy enough, your soul and spirit will be awakening in the last moment. Okay? On the moment of death, the light, we call the creating light or the clear light, will come and awakening your soul and spirit. No matter who you are, you believe in God, you believe in Christian, you believe in Buddha, you believe in Hinduism, or you believe nothing. Okay? If you believe nothing, the light still will come to you. That's one thing good about to know that. It's sure. <laughs> okay? It doesn't mean you believe in Jesus and only the light will come to you. And the one that not believe in Jesus have no light to come. No. Period. Believe me right. Absolutely, whoever you are, the light will come to you. You good or you bad, it's okay. The light will come. That's not very good to know. <laughs> now, the matter is, when the light comes, what are you going to do with it? There are a few ways of doing things, okay? When in an esoteric way. The, w the first way is like this. The first way, the best way is, you learn how to establish and build your own temple. And you start to tap in all the natural and universal force. And you no need to depending on the worldly thing. When you develop that kind of energy and tempo, they will ensure that you can continuous practice in the mid plane. Because you transfer everything up into the mid plane, you can continue practice it. But if you don't have it transfer up, you cannot do it. And a smart people they figure out a way. The best way is you develop your own tempo and you continue practice in the mid plane, in the higher plane, go up. Now, some people, I don't know, I don't know, they, they don't get this part, but they figure out a way. They don't have this part, they cannot continue in mid plane, but they're smart. Before they're going to pass away, they make sure they set up a system, they set up a statue. And make sure people will pray and chant his name every day. And you know what happened when you pray and chant his name every day? You know what happened? 
your energy is going up to him. And this is absolutely true. Not only me discover that. Many, many people discover that. I myself practice, I out, I out. I, I can see there's a lot of energy just go up. But for me, I said, I don't need this energy. Really, I don't need all this energy from the people. Because I can get much better energy up there than depending on the people energy. And it's real true, absolutely true. So they set up a system, make sure when they die, the people will continue sending energy to him. That's it. Chant, pray, worship, surrender, give up, you no, know, and give up and give up and give up. This energy go up to him. Now, definitely sometimes they give you some. And you're very happy. <laughs> so you give up a million, they give you one dollar, you're very happy. <laughs> you never know that you give up one million. But you receive one dollar, you talk for a hundred years. Talk to everybody for a hundred years. This is what people do. Give up a million and million, but receive one dollar, we just talk and talk and talk every day. <laughs> the same thing that people uh, do, gram grumble, you know, grumble. They lose a million and they make one thousand. So, oh, I win, I win. You know, today I win, I'm lucky. And he keep on talking for year and year. <laughs> And they never talk about how he lose. <laughs> you know? And that is how we're doing that. Now, some people, they not that smart. They don't know how to set up the system. Make sure the people life life will continue sending to him all the time, all the time. Okay? So, they become a exchanges. We call medium. Okay? So, they're coming down to give you some information. They tap your energy, and there's the exchange. I give you information, you give me energy, your life force, that's it. So the medium have to be heavily tapped on the energy. Okay? And there is another type, less smart. And the next type is they cannot be a medium, they cannot set up a system, people worship them. And the way they have to do is store, steal people's energy. So when you practice and you don't know how to protect, especially when you don't do the microcosmic, the energy always go one way, you lose. And it's really, they tap on your energy. A lot of entity or spirit, when you can lose energy, they, they store your energy. And that's how all the um, different way of doing things. And this is my, my own understanding. Some of you might not agree with it, it's okay. But this is how I see a thing. Now, when you can develop all yourself, the whole thing is different. The energy that you gain is your own energy. That's it. The whole system in the slavery is still here. Okay? The, the whole system of slavery is still here. You just don't believe how the, how the old time the slave work. They buy you and they use you for all the life. The son you born, the grandson that you born, you be the slave. It's incredible. And where all the slaves come? They come from, they are free in somewhere. And all they do is go there and arrest them and put them to be a slave. That's it. Is that right? Now, Jesus said, I come here and release you all from the bandit. That's what Jesus says. But we never, go, we never actually get out of the bandit at all. We still go back to the slavery the same. Life after life after life, from, uh, we teaching down, they tap the energy, and we send the information passing down to our son, our grandson, and they tap energy, one by one tapping down. We never get out of it. I tell you, sometimes I discover it, I said, this is incredible. Why people don't understand that? This is incredible. We've been severely, severely for generation and generation and generation, and we've been roped everything out. Life force, freedom, immortality, gone, finished. We're not going to see anything happen that way. Because we've been roped from many generations down until now, and we left nothing inside ours, ourselves. We cannot be in ourselves. When people have been in slavery for 10 generations, you tell them to open their own business, how? 
<laughs> you know, way. <laughs> he don't know how to do the business anymore. Okay? All I do is this. I, I know. I work, I work. And they give me three meals, that's it. Sometimes two meals, sometimes one meal, that's okay. No? They drain you all out, and that's all. You're just another guy, that's all. Until you learn how to turn yourself inwardly, you feel the energy inside you, you feel the power inside you, you feel you can condense this energy, become your own energy. That is the beginning of you become yourself. Otherwise, all you have to do is just give up yourself. Give up your life force, give your immortality, give up your right, give up everything. How can we condense our life force to be condensed and not disperse and draw by any other thing? Especially on the moment of death in the thousand say when people are used to always scatter all around. Okay? That's how we are. You know, scatter so much. Everything pull us all. Oh, you know what happened to the moment of death? Hmm? What happened to the people so scattered your the energy? What happened to them on the moment of death? All oh, their soul and spirit and life force is gathered all around. <laughs> Not there anymore. The, the real purpose on the first level is concentrate, scatter your energy, refine your energy, so all the soul and spirit energy and the body energy all condense, become one energy and cannot be dispersed cannot be attract, cannot be side pulled by anything. Not the worldly thing or not anybody. You are so concentrated, you become yourself. Your energy is so condensed and your energy is just right there. It happens if you need to lose, to left, left this world. Your energy is so condensed and you gather all the energy and you go at one piece. When we begin the microcosmic orbit meditation, we shift our attention away from the scattered thoughts of our daily lives and focus attention inside ourselves, feeling the energy there, and gathering it in the lower Tan Tian, conserving it. Then, by cycling and recycling it through each energy center up the back and down the front of the body, we are able to transform it into a more refined energy. This more refined energy is easier to condense and is the basis of our true selves. <laughs>